Members are advised to take their conversations off the floor. Gentleman from California. This provision guts the Clean Air Act and bars the Environmental Protection Agency from addressing the grave threat to public health and the environment posed by carbon pollution, and it does so while destroying thousands of jobs. The science is clear and the evidence is overwhelming. According to the National Academy of Sciences and the premier scientific organizations of all the world's major economies, carbon pollution is changing the climate and endangering the environment. But Section 1746 prevents EPA from taking common sense, reasonable measures to address this threat. The Clean Air Act currently requires that new source plants, new power plants, new oil refineries, and other major new sources of carbon emissions take steps to reduce their carbon emissions. This requirement makes sense because it is easier for facilities to plan for emission reductions before construction than to install retrofits afterwards. EPA says sources should be able to comply just by being energy efficient. Section 1746 would prevent EPA from implementing this common sense requirement. EPA has also indicated it plans to set minimum federal standards for the two largest sources of carbon pollution, power plants and oil refineries. This section would prevent EPA from even proposing these standards. Instead of gutting the Clean Air Act, the top priority for this Congress should be getting Americans back to work. But Section 1746 does exactly the opposite. It imposes a de facto construction ban on many areas of the country. The Clean Air Act requires the largest new or expanding facilities to obtain carbon pollution permits before they begin construction. The Republican bill doesn't change this legal requirement to have a permit, but it does prevent EPA from actually issuing the needed permits. This affects every jurisdiction where EPA issues permits. This construction ban would apply to all or parts of the 13 states, including my own state of California. It would block dozens of major projects including power plants, refineries, cement kilns, and large manufacturing plants. The result would be the loss of thousands of construction jobs and permanent jobs at these facilities. Members have different views about how to reduce carbon pollution, but we should all agree that a multi-state construction ban is a terrible idea. The Republican bill has other damaging impacts. The bill blocks requirements to reduce carbon pollution emissions that Congress established in the 1990 Clean Air Act amendments and expanded a few years ago. The bill even blocks successful voluntary programs that partner with industry like Energy Star, and it blocks the renewable fuel standard that Congress established four years ago, which aims to reduce our dependence on foreign oil. This is a sweeping, reckless, and irresponsible bill. I urge all my colleagues to oppose it. Yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back. For what purpose is it?